So here we are, approaching the entrance to the rogue compound, and if the rogues are aggroed to you, whether it's because you're a bear player or because you've killed a rogue uh, in like your previous raid, uh, you can still loot the roof rogues. I'm going to show you how. The first thing we need to do, of course, is clear a path over to get to the compound safely. So we're going to come up to the side here on construction. I always side up to 200 on this shot, and we're going to shoot that rogue. Now, we, uh, we have done this a couple times, so we got the headshot there. One thing I'll say, though, is that if you shoot him in the body, what he will do is he'll run off that tower and he'll kind of go into the compound for a bit. Ignore the other scav there shooting at us. And that will give you time to make this run over to uh, the beach over here, even if you don't get a headshot on him. One other thing to note as we're crossing this bridge is sometimes the other gunner on the gun to the right of us here will rotate over uh, and take the grenade launcher spot up there that's actually good for us because it stacks up two folks in a tower that's a little easier to loot how you would go about killing them is if as you're going along this beach uh you can sit here and just snipe them uh their grenades will actually fall short and they won't hit you behind those rocks so you're really safe but what i'm gonna do here is take a very long way around so that none of the rogues can hit me. There are a few paths you can take while the rogues are aggroed to you. I think this one is the safest, and it's going to get us to where we want to go, which is warehouse 2 uh, on the back side. So, again, there are other more direct routes. When farming rogues, I'm looking for safety over speed, uh, safety and repeatability. And so we're going to swing all the way outside here. And we're going to end up near this close warehouse to our right, uh, but in a way that the rogue gunners can't see us. That is the key of rogue farming, is just really abusing their AI or playing with their sight lines so that you can get free shots on them and where their superior accuracy and ferocity can't get you. But stick with us. Uh, it's a little bit of a hike, but we're going to come to a really safe spot. So as we come out of the rocks, we're going to cross the road towards Warehouse 1. Now, as we're approaching Warehouse 1, we're going to want to swing wide a little bit because we're going to be able to get a free headshot on the gunner uh, on top of Warehouse 1. Now, as you can see, even though we have shot one of his friends and the rogues are aggroed to us, this gunner does not turn and does not acknowledge us. Now, you don't technically have to get the headshot here uh, for the strategy to work, but it's such a free headshot, and we're going to be able to loot this rogue uh, that I think you're going to want to take it. I, I really can't see any reason not to. Now, after taking that gunner, we are going to want to run the length of Warehouse 1. Make sure to hit a bunch of those gold loot spots that are in there. And we're going to want to come out the other entrance uh, on the other side. Now, don't go too far, or you'll get shot by a rogue. What we're, instead we're going to want to do is look towards Warehouse 2. Now, for this shot, I always uh, scope up my zeroing distance to 150. And as you can see, that rogue on Warehouse 2 on the grenade launcher gun, not turning towards us, not reacting. So it's a pretty free headshot. Don't worry, if you miss and he pops off the gun, duck back inside Warehouse 1 as he will actually shoot you with his rifle. And you don't want to take on these rogues one-on-one -on -one from that distance. Just take a little bit. He'll eventually reset, go right back to that gun, and you'll have another chance. Now, even after you take out the gunner on top of Warehouse 2, scan the rest of that warehouse because to the left of that gunner, there is a second gunner facing towards the train station. Sometimes he will pop off and start shooting at you. And so what I always recommend you do is after you take out that first gunner on Warehouse 2, run back the length of Warehouse 1 and wrap around inside the compound. This is going to give you another angle to repeat that same Warehouse 2 roof and nine times out of ten, that second rogue is going to go back to his gun, go somewhere else on the roof, but uh, he won't be bothering you anymore. From there, we're able to go right on top of Warehouse 1, the stairs. Can't avoid the barbed wire, sadly. And assuming you haven't killed the second gunner up top here, you look right to your right. He will not get off his gun most often, and you're again able to get a free headshot. You can loot that rogue, go back to the front of the warehouse where we took that first shot, 
you're able to loot him as well. Now, at this point, you've got two rogues worth of gear, assuming they've both spawned. So what I found in this wipe is that the rogues are not spawning as frequently as they have in the last wipe, where it was 100% spawn rate. So assuming you have two rogues worth of loot, at this point, feel free to walk out the same way you came in. Get out of here. Uh, congratulations, you've gotten a lot of loot. Now, if you want to keep going, the rogues on top of Warehouse 2 are ripe for the picking. Uh, what you can do, go back through Warehouse 1 again, uh, and you can turn around the corner and you can go right to the stairs. Because we've eliminated that gunner, it is a free path there. And honestly, once you've eliminated the second gunner on top of Warehouse 1, even if that gunner is still up top there on Warehouse 2, you can still walk over there and get up those steps. Once you get up those steps, you look right to your right. Assuming they've spawned, there should be a gunner sitting on that gun there for another free headshot. Feel free to take his loot. And then using one of the rogue guns, if you don't want to use your sniper anymore, walk back over to the other side of the building. Look for the gunner uh, on the gun pointed towards train station. Take him out if he's there. Then you can loot him, as well as that original gunner on top of Warehouse 2 that you took out. Now, at this point, assuming they've all spawned, you have five kits worth of rogue gear absolutely free. If you want to push your luck, you can go back to Warehouse 1, hop up there, and snipe the two rogues at the front of the rogue entrance. You know, right by the bridge where we came over, and then you can loot them. One thing to note for this strategy is that the ground rogues are spawning a little more randomly, a little more infrequently, and I have found that they've been spawning in pairs of two. So when you're doing this, always listen for some kind of audio cues. Typically, they'll use a voice line when you get close, just to make sure you're not running into them on the ground when you have a bolt action DPO sniper, as it will end badly. So this is the method for farming the rooftop rogues, even if they are aggroed to you from a previous raid or because you're a bear player. Hopefully this was helpful to everyone, and I hope to see everyone full of rogue gear on our next Twitch stream or on our next video here. Have a good one.